life hack. Use your cane to get stuff from across the room when you can't get up to get it. Why am I singing Christmas songs from seventh grade Disney Channel stars? I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of fun. morning guys it's been a while since we started with the full song so I figured let's do it this is the day this is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made I will rejoice I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this is the day that the Lord has made made. I will rejoice in you, God, in it, and so can you. I, oh my gosh, it's actually, let's see, it's 1242, and it was not until like 10 minutes ago that I was able to get up um, for the day. I was able to edit the vlog here in bed, but as far as like getting up and moving, my body was not having it, but um, thankfully I was able to get up and I put some cl clothes on. Um, by the way, last night, I say clothes because I, I changed out of technically clothes, but I slept in them as pajamas last night because last night after we signed off, um, we had a really fun episode where I made it to the bathroom to brush my teeth and stuff before bedtime. And as I was leaving the bathroom, as I was turning to the bathroom door, I was hit with instant dizziness and the nausea was already severe from the azithromycin and it was so bad. I was like having vertigo. I couldn't. So I immediately went down to the ground, like on purpose, like hands and knees, crawled very slowly back here into the bedroom, losing strength along the way every time. Like my muscles were losing their, they were just becoming weaker and losing the ability to actually hold me. Um, so we get in here and I get up and I'm like, have one arm up on the bed trying to, you know, pull myself up onto the bed and I can't. So I have, Roger comes in and he lifts me up and gets me in bed and then... The sheets and mattress pad were still drying, however, I was limp completely. I had no strength in my body. I couldn't move at all. He was having to move me. He had to move my head. He had to do everything. And I said, okay, listen, don't stay up an extra hour to let stuff's dry to... Actually, I told him this beforehand um, because I couldn't speak once it was happening. He would say something like, Becca, Becca, are you with me? And all I could get out was, uh -huh. And then anytime he'd say something, I would, it would kind of be like, uh, you know, however many syllables I was trying to get the words out and I couldn't. And it was pretty scary. Um, and we had my, I call it my mini blanket because it has Minnie Mouse on it. Uh, I've had it since 2010 and it's the softest blanket in the world. But um, it's my comfort blanket. But what I told him, I said, listen, I'll just use my mini blanket as a makeshift mattress pad for the night and I'll just be under the comforter and that's fine because that's what I had to do last night after the accident happened anyway. So he had to like physically push me from lying here to lying over here and roll it over and everything and then slide the blanket underneath me somehow and then get me back and roll it on it. And thankfully I had already taken my medicine so we didn't have to try to go through that because that would have resulted in spilled water. I guarantee it. It was, it was scary, um, but I knew it was, I knew it was just, um, I mean, the medication starting to build up more in my system. Herxine is happening in many different ways, and that's one way it happened last night. Thankfully, this morning, I was able to move again. Um, I mean, not without pain or nausea, which is why I wasn't able to move until just a little while ago, but it wasn't, you know, dead. I couldn't move at all. I was able to get up and go to the bathroom and stuff like that, but... <laughs> So that said, after that, last night, um, I'm trying to just not overexert myself today um, because I don't want that to happen again simply because I push too hard and then fatigue makes it happen because that sometimes can happen as well. So I am getting ready to, you saw me maybe in the beginning of the song, I had my IV stuff in my hand, I didn't realize it. I'm getting ready to hook up to Zofran um, so I can actually get these feeds running. I finally was able to set them up, but I need to have the Zofran going because I'm not, not feeling great at all. So, um, in the stomach area, that is. Like, being upright like this is taking effort. Now, it's not the worst nausea I've had, but 
if I hook up the feeds and I start going, it will escalate very quickly since I had that azithromycin last night. So I'm going to do that and hook up to Sofran. And then I'm going to hook up to my saline for the day since we run saline on off days. So let's get started. So totally random. At first, I'm running my Zofran, but totally random. I had a song from Hilary Duff's Christmas album that came out in, I think, 2003. Uh, randomly popped into my head. And I don't remember all the lyrics, but I remember it's, When the snow comes down in Tinseltown, we'll be dancing in Hollywood. And I don't remember the lyrics, but, just the, like, but the melody is, Da 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 all over the neighborhood. And I remember singing that whole CD so much, like, walking this Christmas down Santa Claus Lane. No need to wonder, no need to explain. Just have some faith in what you see. We're right here where we want to be. Walking this Christmas down Santa Claus Lane. Why am I singing Christmas songs from seventh grade? Disney Channel stars. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of fun, but I just kind of had to share. <laughs> it's not Christmas yet, but it's gonna be Christmas in eight months! Woo! <laughs> Always the optimist when it comes to Christmas. And the problem with gravity infusing and not having a pump is that sometimes you don't catch it in time before the infusion's finished, and when that happens, you tend to get blood return in your line. You can't see it too well on camera, but it's not supposed to have that blood and the red all up in there. So got to use some extra flushes to take care of this and then flush it with heparin and we're finished for the day. The lights are off, and I have an audiobook on quietly playing. Oh god, somebody's calling my phone. I really don't feel like answering it. I have such a migraine right now. I don't even know. I don't know if I remember if I'm not going to answer it. And then look, even looking at my phone is getting harder. So looking at the camera has too, but again, just showing that ups and downs. This is, this is real life. I'm trying to keep it as dark as I can. I'm probably going to have to turn my book off in a minute just to keep it quiet too, but I really wish we had better blackout curtains right now like I used to. So Roger's home, and he just pointed something out that I've never thought about before. Okay, explain oh, okay. Explain it though. Yeah, that wasn't a good one. I'll have to do it again. He's snapping, but you want to know what's, what about snapping? You know, the, just tell him what you told me. You ever think about like how... You know, the noise from snapping doesn't really come from that. It comes from, like, when your finger hits. That meaty part of your... Down there. Yeah. Never thought about it. But you snap. Oh, hold on. That was a bad one. God, my, my arthritis is keeping it from happening. Yeah, that might not be a good idea. There you go. Uh-oh. Got blurry. Mm. I hope it snaps back into focus. Anyway, we thought it was pretty cool. Science. Science, man. That's all. <laughs> Live pack, use your cane to get stuff from across the room when you can't get up to get it. We are watching Parks and Rec. Hope you enjoyed our uh, 
a laundry folding montage. I'm not sure how you couldn't. Uh, or I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how you couldn't enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, that was right. Um, but yeah, we're going to watch some Parks and Rec now, so we'll talk to y'all later. Guess what, guys? <laughs> Apparently, I got pranked. <laughs> Apparently, you're a bee hole. <laughs> Not a bee hole. Oh. No, we we folded laundry, and he just took the towels and stuff off the bed to go put them away. But um, he was going in there to watch baseball, and I'm getting ready to watch Grey's Anatomy. And um, he, uh, <laughs> he yeah, I told him, I said, can you put this stuff away before you go? The hoodie pillow and the towels and stuff. And... He said, what stuff? I don't see any stuff. I said, the stuff right there to fold the towels. And he said, prank! You got prank! Show him. Show him the bed. There's nothing there. <laughs> they already saw. Now there's nothing there because he took that towel off. But um, there was stuff there. Anyway, that was his um, attempt at a prank tonight. You know so. why? Why? Because I'm not a bee holy. That's right. Go uh, watch you some baseball. Chop on. Chop on, go Braves. Okay, guys. Well, Grace was good. Baseball's um, good. Baseball's good. The Braves are having a good season. They're doing really good. But are they playing? Uh, the Mets. The Mets. So, yeah. Okay. So that's been our night. Um, right now, I'm having my trigeminal pain, just my general headache behind my eye pain and pressure increasing a lot. So I'm glad it's time to go to bed. And um, I like sleep. <laughs> So I'm glad it's time to go to bed. Yeah. Um, I had to take the Ethelcan and Flagyl today. I take it today and tomorrow. Oh, that's right. And that has not been pleasant for my abdominal region. I've been staying curled up in a ball all day uh, for the most part because of that. But you know what? It's all part of it. So. Gotta bust them cysts. Yeah. And we gotta keep the yeast from taking over too. The can. Mm. Hopefully they can do that. So, uh, on that note, we'll say we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.